going to show how to repair a dropped stitch when it's really far down in your work. Now I just have a little piece here, but let's just say you were knitting a giant shawl. You go to block it and as you are stretching it out on the blocking table here, you find out you see one drop stitch. And the thought of replacing, you know, 50 inches of knitting and all of that hard work to go back, you know, uh, is really makes you want to cry. So this is a solution for instances like that. Now in a small piece like this, we could just weave that stitch up using these ladders, but we're going to pretend this is a giant piece. This is way at the bottom and I'm looking for something, an easy solution. So when you find that drop stitch, the first thing you want to do is secure it. So that's why I like these little locking stitch markers and I'm just going to secure that. So I'm going to begin, I'm going to take a cut a piece of matching yarn. And then on the wrong side of the fabric, I'm going to weave in my ends just so that I um, can get myself, I'm starting, here's the, the hole, and I'm going to weave in my end, working my way toward that hole. So I have a swell video on how to weave in ends. So I'm just gonna try to do it a little bit quickly here. So we're going to weave in, you want to weave in a couple inches of yarn, working our way to the hole. So that'll be nice and invisible on the wrong side. So taking care to weave it in properly here. Now, once I get to the hole, I was kind of near it, then I'm going to return to the right side of the work. And then if you can see if I pull kind of that apart here, here's the hole here. So I'm going to come through that hole from the wrong side to the right side. And then pulling up that stitch, I'm going to remove that marker that was keeping it secure. And I'm going to come through that stitch. So here's, there's the center of the stitch, but I'm going to come from the back of that stitch to the front of the stitch. So now my stitch is safely on my piece of yarn that I have here. And now I'm going to do something that's very similar to a duplicate stitch. It's not going to match up entirely correctly, but it will take care of the problem. So right above there, I see the sort of the left side of this stitch and the right side of that stitch. I'm just going to go under both of those little pieces and pull my working yarn through. And then I'm going to take, here's the center of that drop stitch. I'm going to go back into that from front to back. And then I'm going to kind of fool around with the tension on that to sort of neaten that up a little bit. Now this interruption to the pattern is very obvious in stockinette, but if you had been working in a lace pattern, seed stitch, anything like that, this would be almost undetectable. And then I come to the wrong side and now I'm going to weave in this yarn here moving away from the hole. So we started toward the hole, we did our little repair work. Now I'm going to weave it in on the wrong side. And you would probably go a little bit longer than I'm going to do. But once I weave that in, I'll grab my scissors and trim in the ends. So here on the wrong side, almost invisible. Front side, much better than having a dangling stitch. So there you've rescued your drop stitch, weaved it in nicely. Happy knitting!